Hey YouTube, this is Woolam3 uh, once again, and I finally got my cameraman back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My video before was really bad on the sniper. But, as I promised in that video that I just mentioned, um, I'm going to d be doing a paper gun review on my famous. Or the boss, whatever you, uh. you call it. But, before we get into that, I'm going to show you something. So, come over here, camera dude. It's me. So we have this new setup for all of our... Do a panoramic view here. Yeah, for all of our paper guns. And as you can see, I've taken a piece of plywood and screwed some screws into it. Hang, all, hang up all the guns, the AKA, our other AKs. Two shotguns, the UMP45 Glock, uh, sniper rifle, and my Famous down on the bottom down here is where it's going to go. And so yeah, so let's get to the review. Get back in your spot, camera dude. Sorry about the shakiness. Camera dude's not on a tripod right now. So, back to the review. Why? So, like I said, the famous or the moss, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, this gun is, we'll start from the back up, like we do in most of our reviews. So, this stock is made completely just out of paper, paper tubes and cover and stuff. So there's three paper tubes in here. Well, there's four paper tubes in here, and then um, one on the bottom and one on the top. As you can see how this goes up, and then down here it goes down farther. And then moving up from that, the magazine well right here fits this high cap magazine that I have in it. Or it can also fit this mid capacity round. I also have, as, hold on, let me, just, let me put this in, that was a little bit harder to fit in, but as you've seen in my AR video, if you haven't, if you've watched it, if you haven't, click on my channel, go there, watch it, rate, comment, subscribe, but getting off of that, getting off the subject, uh, I have a mid cap and a high cap mag, just like with the AR, so we'll put the high cap back in just for the review right now. And so moving on up from there, this hand grip, made out of cardboard and paper, really sturdy, nothing really much to say there, it's a hand grip, and pistol grip. And then this trigger guard is kind of outrageous, as is the rest of the gun, but this thing is freaking huge, it goes from the bottom of the hand grip all the way up to the trigger, the, all the way up past the trigger, and this was kind of hard to make actually, it took me a little while. But, so yeah, it's not that flimsy. It's alright. And then this trigger is really flimsy and a little crooked. So, I might be fixing that in the near distant future. Alright, going up from that, here is the bolt. And I will come up and show you a picture of this real quick. So, this bolt moves back and forth like that. And then back and forth like that. But, yeah, just like on the real Famous little spot here. So, yeah. And this gun does not shoot, by the way. I could make it shoot, but I really don't want to waste the time to do that right now. So, yeah. And, uh, up to the carrying handle. Made just out of paper, as usual. And with this carrying handle, I can mount the ACOG sight that I made for my AR-15. Which, again, I'm going to say... Uh, go to that video, has the ACOG on it, mid-cap, high-cap magazines, all that good stuff. I think I even did a explanation on muzzle brake in that. But, so yeah, the ACOG fits on there, but I'm going to take that off so you can get a sight picture of the sights here. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Wait, <laughs> what the? Well, that's pretty good. Alright, it's probably not that great. It's kind of hard to see with camera. If you're here in person, they're pretty good sights. Yeah, it's just a ghost ring on the back and a front post in the front. But yeah, moving on from the carrying handle, this uh, barrel really sturdy. It's not going to come out. And it has a couple of little Nick -nick. details on the back muzzle. And this one has a little muzzle brake on it too. It's not very big. It's not as big as on the AR. It's just a little sheet of paper I put over the top. But then, going back to the AR, 
Uh, you can take the AR, the silencer I made for the AR, and you can put that on Famous, as you can see. And with the ACOG and the AR on there, I must say, this looks pretty cool. And just since we're basically going off the topic of the AR review, I'm going to do a tactical reload like I did in the AR video. And this is the first time I've ever done it with this gun, so bear with me here. Like I said, drop the magazine. That's the first time I've done a tactical reload on this. So yeah, gun's not really meant for tactical reloads or quick reload. Just meant for thinking in the real version. But, so yeah, that's my famous or famous, however you want to say it. And... Then we'll end three. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.